Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Scientists know more about the space than the oceans, so in a sense, a majority of the creatures lurking below the surface may as well be aliens. While deep sea creatures have adapted many different ways to live down there, such as light organs, flat bodies, and gathering colonies of small animals, these 10 deep sea animals all have one thing in common. They are absolutely bizarre. Number 10. Anglerfish When talking about animals, we usually don't really like to use the word ugly, but believe me, there are more than a few deep sea creatures that are nothing but ugly, and this is one of them. The angry looking anglerfish has a right to be cranky. It is quite possibly the ugliest and bizarre looking animal on the planet, and it lives in what is easily Earth's most inhospitable habitat, the lonely, lightless bottom of the sea. Commonly known as sea devils, anglerfish are the archetypal horror of the deep. They lurk on the bottom, more than a mile below sea level, waiting for unsuspecting prey to come their way. Their most distinctive feature, which females only wear, is a piece of dorsal spine that overhangs above their mouths like a fishing pole, hence their name. And yeah, it glows. Their mouths are so big they can eat prey up to twice their own size. Anglerfish inhale their meals whole. If the meal is too big, they tear into them with long, pointy fangs. If you're a fish, you really don't want to get close to them, but sometimes you just won't be able to resist. Anglerfish are really the stuff of nightmares, but they're in no way the most bizarre marine animal. Keep watching for more of these terrifying creatures. Number 9. Blobfish Okay, I take back what I said about animals not being ugly. You must be thinking, what in the seven hells is this thing? Well, this is the infamous blobfish. It gets its name from its gelatinous flesh, which has a density slightly less than water. It has an efficient approach as it can float above the seafloor without swimming or applying any energy. The depth at which they are found, if they have muscles or bones, they will get crushed due to the atmospheric pressure, which is very high in the deeper parts of the ocean. But the practicality doesn't make it any less ugly. It looks like an old, deflated fat man who has given up on life. Its black eyes and a downturned mouth and nose give it a saddened look. It is weird, gross, and yes, not beautiful. It is an endangered species and is found along the coast of South Africa. The poor creature was voted the ugliest animal on Earth by the world's Ugly Animal Society. Number 8. Flounder Welcome to the weird world of flatfish. If you have never seen or heard about them, you're in for a big surprise. The biggest challenge of living in the deepest part of the ocean isn't not having any sunlight, but the crushing water pressure. To keep living down there, some fish like flounder had to evolve. And how do they beat the pressure? By making itself as flat and flexible as biologically possible. Just look at this bizarre creature. That's millions of years of evolution right there. Not much is known about the flounder because it's hard to observe in the deep sea. But its baby form is perhaps the most bizarre thing about this marine animal. Pelican flounder larva looks like aliens from outer space. Too bad we cannot see them anywhere close to the water surface as they cannot stand the sunlight. Can we call them vampires of the sea? Number 7. Giant Isopod Up next, we have this creature that will probably make you think twice before going into the water next time. The giant isopod measures up to 19 inches in length. This terrifying creature is also one of the oldest marine animals and is found mainly in cold deep waters of the Pacific, Indian, and Atlantic Oceans. Its 14 legs and a pair of antennas are its most atrocious and intimidating aspects. The giant isopod is said to eat just five times in five years. It is one of the closest things you will find that looks and behaves like an alien, but aliens might just look like humans for all we know. The deeper you dive, the more likely you're going to be to find the giant isopod, and not just one, they could be in quantities of thousands. So be prepared to recreate a scene from Aliens vs Predator movies. These guys are also the ultimate survivors. They have been around since all the continents were stuck together in one lump known as Pangaea, and they can go four years without eating. So really, it's only a matter of time before they take over the Earth. Number 6. Spider Crab When you hear about crabs, you usually have those small-sized crustaceans that we love in our seafood diet. But there is one crab that has been blowing the minds of many since its discovery. The spider crab, especially the Japanese spider crab, is the largest crab species in the world. This crab has the largest leg span of any known arthropod, reaching about 4 meters long when fully stretched out. 
and can weigh up to 44 pounds. It lives very deep in waters, and you really need to go all out to catch one of these guys. Special equipment is required when fishing for them because of their incredibly strong and sharp claws. However, in contrast to their terrifying appearance, the Japanese spider crab has been said to have a gentle demeanor. So if you would like to have a massive crab included in your next meal, you could consider fishing for a Japanese spider crab. We hope you get a tasty reward for your bravery. Number 5. The Colossal Squid This amazing species is the biggest squid in the world, even surpassing the giant squid, which is only about a third of their size. The colossal squid measures up to 49 feet in length, weighs up to 1,100 pounds, and is as big as a school bus. Yeah, you heard that right. Its two eyes are approximately the size of a soccer ball. Now, imagine a gigantic squid in front of you with all such features. There would be no escape. The colossal squid inhabits the cold deep waters in the Antarctic, New Zealand, and African regions, and they live as deep as 3,280 feet under the surface of the water. They prey on fish and other smaller squids with their sharp beaks and have no trouble catching their prey because of their large tentacles. This thing might be the closest thing to the kraken. The craziest thing is humans have never seen a colossal squid in its natural habitat. Although there have been no reported human attacks, fishermen and investigators still suspect harm from them and don't go near them at all. If you think that's crazy, wait for the number one spot. Number 4. Harp Sponge At number 4, we have this 3 foot wide harp sponge, and there's nothing quite like it on the planet. It's hardly even a sponge as we would recognize it, having left behind the filter feeding lifestyle and become a carnivore, passively nabbing tiny creatures unlucky enough to float through its strings. Think SpongeBob SquarePants, only without the pants and with way more murder. What scientists know so far about the harp sponge is essentially its morphology or sound structure. But from that, they can then hypothesize about its biology, determining that it's an avid carnivore that relies on water currents to push tiny crustaceans into its picket fence-like upright branches. If you look closely, their branches have tiny hair-like structures called filaments splitting off horizontally, which act essentially like Velcro to catch minuscule prey. The harp sponge has evolved a very complex carnivorous lifestyle to cope with the depths. It's a brilliant adaptation to living in an aquatic wasteland. Number 3. The Hagfish At the bottom of the ocean resides this bizarre-looking fish known as hagfish. It is said to be so ancient that it hasn't changed for around 300 million years. Hagfish is located near the ocean floor in the deepest parts. Its body is made up of smooth, velvet skin with no scales, and it has a skull with no spine. Its wrinkled skin might look disgusting to you, but the weirdest feature of the hagfish is its mouth which can give you nightmares. Its jawless mouth is made for mincing up dead bodies of fish lying on the ocean floor. Several teeth are packed on two bony plates, which are enough to rip the flesh off the dead fish and are shoved down its throat full of teeth. And if you think that wasn't enough, the hagfish has one nostril with which it picks up the sweet scent of death. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across the photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. Fang Tooth Fish Here we have quite a fearsome little foe, displaying a lot of common features of many deep water dwelling fish, especially the angler fish. The fang tooth epitomizes what it means to be a deep sea creature. You won't catch anything like this in your neighborhood pond or river. Living around 2,000 meters deep into the ocean, the fang tooth is not making any friends. A quick glance can tell you it isn't exactly the friendly type of fish. With its giant jaw equipped with a ray of long fangs, the fang tooth lives up to its reputation. Though its size leaves much to be desired, I don't think anyone would like to give this little guy a pet. Number 1. Siphonophores Whales may be the most massive animals in the world, but siphonophores are the longest, measuring up to 50 meters. This bizarre-looking creature is actually a colony of specialized individuals called zoids. These polyps are attached to one another and physiologically integrated to the extent that they cannot survive independently, creating a symbiotic relationship and requiring each polyp to work together and function like an individual animal. It might be the greatest form of teamwork one could witness in nature. The most common siphonophores species 
is the Portuguese Man of War, and it's as weird as it sounds. Portuguese Man of War is found in the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans. Its long tentacles deliver a painful sting that is venomous and powerful enough to kill fish and even humans. Thank you for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Also, let us know which one of these animals did you find the most bizarre. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.